In this lab, we'll briefly survey the SLIM framework that will be used in the labs ahead to handle your REST API requests. The SLIM framework is a powerful, lightweight routing framework that uses an approach to routing first made popular through a tool called Sinatra, and that you may also be familiar with through powerful tools like Laravel. You could think of SLIM as a very slimmed down version of Laravel. It's going to handle for you your dependencies, your middleware, your routes, and your settings, and more beyond that that you can check out in the documentation. Using a tool we'll see later in this lesson, a skeleton project will be created that will have files that you see here in the source folder. These files are where most of the work of this course will be concentrated. You'll have route handling code, dependencies, middleware, and settings. Slim handles dependencies through a container associated with the app object, which is the core of the whole framework. So for example, in your dependencies file, you can get a reference to the container and then assign to that container one or more functions. So if we assigned a function titled renderer, as you see here, that renderer function is going to be available in your route code, as you see here. We could have a get HTTP verb route that is receiving a parameter called name. And then within that function, we could access the renderer function created over in our dependencies file through this reference. And whatever features are available through that, such as this render method, we could use them within our route as shown here. Slim handles middleware as well. So middleware is functionality that runs before or after some or all of your routes. In Slim, you add such functions directly to the app. So as we see here, we're adding an inline function that receives a request, a response, and then a reference to whatever should run next. Each execution of a middleware function in sequence, depending on how many you add, passes to the next handler until the route code itself runs. And then as you see here, the response is received back from that reference to the next function and the response is passed back to whatever made the request. You could also have code that runs after to modify this response before it is returned. The core of SLIM for our purposes is route handling. The app object allows you to create routes for get, post, put, delete, options, or patch HTTP verbs, or you could also create a route to handle any of these verbs for a particular path, for a particular route. So as we see here, a delete method is being created for delete verbs being passed to the route slash API slash customer. Now you'll see that route parameters can be passed along. They are placed in the route itself as brackets, and then they're received in the body of the handler function through the args array. So we see the ID parameter is being grasped as args ID. The routes can be handled locally as we see here and as we'll do in these lessons for simplicity because we're focusing on something other than SLIM itself, but you'd find that SLIM can uh, handle everything through centralized uh, route handling classes. In a later lesson, we're going to take a look at how to implement and load an external class. Last, notice that the responses can be written in the body as we show here if you want to write text into the body. Alternately, it can also be returned as JSON, which means that the relevant headers will be updated appropriately. So as we see here, we could say response with JSON and pass back a result, which itself is a JSON document that we've retrieved from Couchbase. You can also globalize settings using SLIM. You can assign associative arrays within this settings object created within the settings file. In our case, for the purposes of this course, we'll assign username, password, bootstrap URI, and bucket name values, although such things would likely in a production app be assigned dynamically. These values are then are exposed to our routes. As you see here, in the dependencies, each function assigned to the container as a dependency receives a reference to the container, which by reference is called C, as we see here. 
through that container reference, you can get the settings object and get values assigned within it. Here we're assigning it to a local variable settings, and from it we can access the values that we set, like bucket name and password. Now because we assume you're a PHP developer, you're likely already familiar with this powerful tool called Composer. Composer can be used to manage dependencies, build projects, and more with PHP. You can get Composer by going out to getcomposer.org slash download, and one way to access it is to run the script shown, as we see here on screen. If you're using Mac OS, this is an easy approach to use. It's going to create within your project this composer.far file, which is then used as the composer tool locally for this project. Of course, you could also configure it for global use within Mac. If you're working on Windows, it's also easy to use this executable to install Composer, and we'll show this in the lab. It'll expose Composer globally for use from your command line within Windows. Slim provides a skeleton project that is installable using Composer. If you're using the composer.far tool, you would invoke that through the PHP command to create this Slim Skeleton project, which in our labs will be called Customer360. If you have Composer installed globally, either by using the Windows executable or configuring it in that manner on Mac OS, then you would use the Composer tool directly as shown. As you'd expect, all this is covered in the workbook. So where can you find out more about these tools? Well, as we say, the workbook and solution code walk you through wiring things up, so you're going to have your hands on it all in just a few minutes. But both Slim Framework and Composer have good documentation. Jump out to them as you need. So what have we learned here? Well, Composer is a multi-purpose PHP command line tool. It handles your dependency management, class loading, project creation, and related. Slim is a lightweight route handling framework available from slimframework.com to handle your dependencies, middleware routes, settings, and more beyond that. Slim provides a skeleton framework that you can install through Composer so that your entire application stays organized right from the start. In the lab for this lesson, you're going to install Composer and the Slim framework and then you'll use Composer to create a Skeleton Slim project where you'll get oriented to route configuration in Slim. You'll create a Customer360 project, which in the Skeleton will have a source folder including these files. It's in your Routes file where you'll end up configuring all of the routes throughout this course. In your Settings, you'll configure global settings for use in your routes, in your dependencies, you're going to create references to be injected to the routes, such as your cluster and your bucket. And in your middleware, you're going to pre-process some data that will end up coming in on the route, as we'll see in a later lesson. When you get done with that, come on back. We've got a lot ahead learning the Couchbase SDK for PHP. Stick around.